Stan Jubilisco here, proprietor and operator of Amateur Radio Station. W1GV Whiskey One. Good vibrations from way up high in the holes of Dakota Territory, United States of anomalous weather. It's almost the end of April. April 28th, 2016, I believe. But winter doesn't end here until June. And you can clearly see that it hasn't ended here yet. <laughs> we actually got pretty close to a foot of snow. It just kept settling. And uh, this is the end result, is a foggy evening high up in the clouds in Leeds, South Dakota. The magic city in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it really looks like, okay? But what I'd like to talk about is a, a little bit more about antenna polarization. And what you're looking at me, uh, what you're looking at me, yes, what you're looking at right back there is my base station, home fixed station, base. That sounds like uh, some, some other ty type of thing. That is my ham radio antenna for 20 meters, a vertical antenna capacitively loaded at the base to make it a little taller, but a quarter wavelength resonant. It's a vertically polarized antenna, meaning that the electric lines of flux are parallel to that vertical element. Now, in another video, I said that the magnetic lines of flux from any radiating element are always perpendicular to the electric lines of flux at every point in space. And that is true, but I also gave you, may have given you the impression that they both lie in the same plane, that together the electric lines of flux are vertical off of there, the magnetic lines of flux are horizontal, and somehow they both lie in the same plane. And that is true at a great distance from any antenna but not really so much so up close. What the uh, magnetic lines of flux would look like around this beautiful piece of artwork that you see behind me are horizontal circles, all centered on the radiating element and all lying in a horizontal plane. At every point in space, no matter where you go in space, inside my eyeball, inside that ladder back there, inside the tree, or inside the headquarters building of the Deep Underground Science and Engineering Laboratory, which happens to be located here. That's where they study neutrinos and all that really highfalutin stuff. Wherever you go in space, even if the, you wait until the wave gets all the way out to Mars, you're always going to find that the magnetic and electric lines of flux at any point are at a right angle to each other. And the direction of propagation of the radio waves or optical waves or any electromagnetic waves is perpendicular to the plane formed by those two lines of flux right in the vicinity of that point. So inside my right eyeball, which probably looks like my, your, my left eyeball to you. I, I get all discombobulated with these screens that look, make me look like I'm looking at myself in a mirror, you know. That's another thing about circular polarization I'd like to talk, to, uh, talk about someday. Uh, but uh, right now, the magnetic lines of flux are running horizontally through my eyeball. The vertical electric lines of flux go like that through my eyeball and the direction of propagation is straight away from the antenna at a right angle to the plane formed by the intersection of those two lines of flux in a very small region so that for all intents and purposes they are straight lines intersecting at a right angle and that at a right angle to both of those we get the propagation obviously going outward from the antenna when transmitting but going inward towards the antenna while receiving 
electric lines of flux, magnetic lines of flux, and the direction of propagation are like the three axes in a Cartesian coordinate system. At any point in space, which you might think of as the origin of that coordinate system, the electric lines of flux might be thought of as, well, in this case, the y-axis going up and down, and the magnetic lines of flux, the x-axis going horizontally left and right, again, through my eyeball, right? And the direction of propagation sort of coming out uh, in the direction I'm looking right now when I transmit, and in the direction I'm looking right now while receiving. That's the way it works with all electromagnetic waves. Three distinct axes in a coordinate system, a Cartesian XYZ coordinate space, no matter where you go, inside my eyeball, inside that ladder, inside the neutrino lab, or inside some distant roving module on it. Did you hear that that company is going to try to launch uh, something, a robot that's going to land on Mars in 2018? Um, you know, troll the internet. You get some really interesting stuff every now and then. A little nugget of gold in a mountain of bullshit. Stan Jibalisco, W1GV, signing off for now, saying 73 and so long.